guys so I'm back with my art snacks May overview in this video I'm going to go over what all the products cost and I'm also going to demonstrate them for you guys so hopefully you can get an idea of what we're working with so I'm going to start with the Kuratake Zig brush H2O um, actually I think it's just brush 2O because the H is part of brush um, and it's a new product they are currently unavailable on Amazon but the listing is there and they're five dollars and thirty nine cents on markersupply.com um, the next item we're going to look at is the crank k90 which is also a new product and it's only available uh, so far through um, art snacks and through the crank online store and it's twelve dollars there Next we have the General Cedar Point Pencil. Um, these are usually only sold in packs like 12. Um, you can get three dozen for $24 on General Store, which would make them 66 cents per pencil, or you can buy a 12 pack on Amazon for 540. Lastly, we have the FW Acrylic Ink in Fluorescent Orange and it is four dollars and fifty nine cents on dick blick or six dollars on paper and ink arts which is a calligraphy store um so let's compare those prices so the twelve dollar retail for the crink k90 is right right on track because there are no other options um the sixty six cents for the general cedar point also on track the 725 is a little bit higher than the 539 on um, marker supply and the 770 retail which was quoted for the FW ink is a lot higher than the either the six dollars on paper and ink arts or the five dollars and I mean the four dollars and 59 cents on um, Dick Blick now Plaza sells a set of six of these. These are usually available in all six neon colors. Sells a set of six of these for $35.19, which would be $5.87 uh, per bottle of FW acrylic ink. So it's time to begin the demonstration portion of this evening. I'm a little bit nervous because it means activating this crank marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my instructions. So I need to get it out of the bag, first of all, which I thought was unzipped, but was zipped. And I need to remove the tip and I need to press the rubber bulb once or twice and the steel ball, oh, wow. Wow, hang on a second here. Why don't you guys to be able to see what I'm seeing. Look how thick that is. is did I over pump? With a light hand, like nothing comes out. You have to do like a full line. I probably did over pump. It reminds me a little bit of like writing with lipstick. Or like um, using a solid marker it's got a heavy body sort of feel and I assume this is acrylic now you need to store it oh, I should. standing up like this um, which is gonna be interesting so I will be right back cuz I need to get actually a spray bottle of water let's see so, um, while it is still wet, it is very water soluble, so that's interesting, and we'll have to allow it to dry fully before, um, before I can do the dry test. And it'll probably take a really long time to dry, because that is some thick, permanent ink. It doesn't actually say just says it's xylene free it doesn't say if it's acrylic it says permanent paint marker so I'm kind of curious about that so next we have the FW acrylic ink and this is acrylic and it has a glass dropper it's 
and um, it is very bright. I want to see if it remains as bright when we dilute it. Ooh, it's like highlighter bright when you dilute it, so that's cool. It's actually darker before you dilute the color. And photos, and my camera cannot do this justice. This is like highlighter orange. Very, very bright. So next we have the General's Pencil, and I think viewers of my blog know I'm not really big on uh, wood pencils. Uh, just out of personal preference, I use a lot of um, mechanical pencils. It's very light in the hand. It smells good because it's cedar. Um, the eraser is, is pretty decent, actually. Usually I don't ever use the erasers on pencils because they're garbage, but that one's pretty good. So lastly, we have this detail brush for the brush 2O. And what's neat about these is they don't have a ring that you have to remove to activate it. You don't even have to take this black uh, plug out. You can squeeze it underwater and it'll suck in water. But if you need to fill it up fast from like a water fountain, you can remove the black plug and do it like that. But don't lose the black plug because it pretty much renders this thing useless. So what I am going to do is I am going to fill up my water pin because I do have a few of these around the studio so it's not like it's not like if this one got ruined doing this um, I would never be able to get them again I'm gonna fill this with water and ink and I want a oh so that means I have to remove the black tip which helps if you have scissors or a pocket knife handy or fingernails and I have fingernails still so there we go and I'm using some water from my little spray bottle and I'm gonna do a full dropper because I really want that intense orange color so I'm gonna do a lot of the orange maybe a little more doesn't look as pretty in the blue barrel as it does in real life and now I'm going to add some of this water. Don't want to fill it all the way. Screw the cap back on. Give it a good shake. Because I want that water and that acrylic to mix. And give, ooh. Okay. Do not give it a squeeze. Because if you give it a squeeze, it will come out. This might be a leaky pen. Takes a minute for the ink to work its way into the barrel. And if you keep, if you get impatient and you squeeze it, it will leak on you. So that's what my fluorescent orange brush pen looks like. And you can gently squeeze to get more ink. So we made a mess. Time to clean up, let everything dry, and then we can test for permanence. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I am a fool and as I was cleaning up my table I found this. This is the piece that keeps, theoretically, keeps this from leaking when you squeeze it too much. So if done correctly, the leaking was an ID10T error and not a manufacturer error. error, error, error. Let's see. Oh. I don't know. Still drippy droopy. Yeah, still super drippy droopy. Puts out a lot of ink. I am sure there are artists who could like totally rock that. Uh, I don't know if I could totally rock that. We'll find out if I can totally rock that. We'll find out with the challenge, huh? I'll see you guys then. Bye!